Hey, Duncan from 65 here. I'm going to show you how you can share a file in Google Drive with someone only for a set period of time. So essentially temporary access. And that can automatically mean that uh, their access will get removed after that date. And this would be really useful, for example, if you're working on a project and you know that that project's going to last a particular amount of time. Or perhaps you have a temporary file that you want to grant access to and give them the ability to download it for a set period of time. Or perhaps it's someone that might be a third party that you're working with another client, sorry, you're working with your client with, and that third party maybe only needs access for a period of time. Now, obviously you're doing an awful lot of stuff inside of your Google Drive, you're sharing things with lots of different people. So this is a really good way of kind of just keeping some housekeeping rules in place. And obviously if the person then still needs access, they'll come back and you'll get an email that says they're requesting access. So you can always go and give them more time once that happens. But let's have a look at actually how you get that done. So the first thing is you have your file inside of Google Drive and then you'll right click on it and in the share area where you add that user to share it with, in the share area where you uh, add that user's email address to share it with, and remember, like our last video, that could be uh, an external, so someone who does not have a Google account, but preferably you want to get them to superpower their email address with Google superpowers. And then you can share it with them a bit more securely. And on the arrow on the right hand side here, you can say give temporary access. And it says expiry uh, access expires in 30 days. I can change that date to whatever I want it to be, right? So for example, at the end of January. And I can also just clear and expunge that as well, right? So I'm going to set that. Um, I'm actually going to do it for the end of, say, next week, maybe a little bit further in the future. And you can see that this uh, little clock icon appears next to it, and it tells you when it's going to expire. And it really is just as simple as that. You click on Save, and it will do the business for you from there. Now, when that does expire, uh, it will just, like I say, remove that user's access and uh, your housekeeping is kind of done for you without you having to think about it. Now, our customers that we look after on Google Workspace, uh, we periodically run them a report to show where those files are being shared externally. This is one way just to kind of keep that list nice and trim. So you don't have to uh, remember, you don't have to put something in your calendar to remove that access at some point in the future. Google Drive will do it for you. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, push the little ding dong bell so you get an alert when we publish new.